So this is the second installment of my Miltec review. I'm gonna do a start and pull out. So, yeah, get that situated away. All those still listening. Pulling out of the parking lot. Here my bushing driveline wine over my exhaust. So one, one of the things that's interesting about the Miltec is that, so take, take a louder exhaust like the Corsa and the amount of throttle power RPMs is, is logarithmic. In other words, if you give it a little more power or a little more revs, as you give more and more, it becomes a lot more loud with even small increments of more RPMs and throttle. Whereas the Miltec, Let's do a standing stop start. Yeah. Whereas lower the windows. Whereas the Miltec, there's almost like a ceiling and it, it doesn't get more than a certain amount loud no matter how you drive it. It's almost like a reverse of the curve profile of say a Corsa type exhaust. So that was about a third throw. How un-American 
to move over. When somebody approaches you going faster, that is pushing vibration. It is much louder than the car's exhaust. Certainly, it sounds like a. Everybody says. Everybody says and thinks their exhaust sounds like a Porsche or an exotic, and it doesn't. Everybody's full of shit, you know. What is it? Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Everybody thinks everyone else is stinks, or there's dozens. I don't know. But within its limitations and what it is. get more tonality with the windows down, that's for sure. Let me see if it's still recording. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm going to cool off my turbo now. I'm just coasting along. Fourth. Fifth. It's not as fun as some of the louder exhausts, but then again, it's a lot easier to live with on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope this video helps the listener and viewer make a decision.
already. Time to go home. <laughs>